The Cheeto epidemic is major, and, it, and if I had to choose whether it was soda or Cheetos at school, uh, I would definitely say it's Cheetos that are more of a nutritional issue than sodas. Um, I, I think that's fair to say that hot Cheetos, flaming hot Cheetos, are probably the biggest problem that we have for kids at King. So what's on your plate is a class that's cross-curricular. We deal with food throughout math, through science, through nutrition lessons and art. We wanted it to be really fun and hands-on and not like reading about the food pyramid or something like that. Okay, so let's see what happens. All right, you ready? Wait till it lights, okay? Oh, there, ah! see the fat dripping out? Ew! There's a pool of Ew, fat. All that, ew, that's nasty. That's a lot of fuel, right? Dang, it's so That's a lot of fat in one cheese. It's sizzling, it's Five. sizzling. I'm glad I don't eat Cheetos that much. We would bring in chip bags. We have hundreds of chip bags that we've collected down in the cafeteria. And we just look at the chip bags. They really learn how to read the label. So we got a count. We got one, two. Oh, the flaming hot seasoning. Can you buy that at the grocery store? No. Sugar, number four. Corn, five. Hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. Six. Think it'll change the amount of them that you eat? I eat them every day. You gotta live yeah, a little. <laughs> okay. I don't think they're necessarily making better choices but at least the choices that they're making have an impact on them because they know the truth. They know how much sugar is in that Coke. They know how much fat is in that bag of chips. They may still be eating the same things, but at least they're aware of what they're eating. <laughs>